The race to develop self-driving cars is on. We've already seen test drive prototypes, and soon some researchers argue we could have robot cars acting as chauffeurs during our daily commutes, letting us sit back and read, text, email, or watch TV while our car does all the driving. But there are still challenges car makers need to overcome before we see highways packed with autonomous vehicles. You know, the little things like mistaking harmless puddles of water for potholes. And then there's the big stuff, like misjudging the movements of a pedestrian and causing serious injury. Now researchers are working to get self-driving cars to act as if there's a real person behind the wheel. To do that, they need to be equipped with eyes and brains that work more like humans. Inside Science. To many people, the idea of self-driving cars is something of futuristic sci-fi movies. But the future is here, and autonomous cars have the potential to transform the way we get around. But before we see rows of self-driving cars at the dealer, the technology behind the car still has obstacles to overcome. The car needs to be able to understand its environment, be able to recognize at a distance whether it's a piece of paper, whether it's a rock, whether it's a pothole, and the thing that makes it easiest for the car to be able to tell that is depth, distance. To recognize depth and distance, most self-driving cars use similar technologies, with one vital piece of equipment being a LiDAR sensor. It maps objects in 3D by bouncing laser beams off its surroundings, providing detailed maps the car needs to get around, and identifying objects like pedestrians and other vehicles. But LiDAR isn't perfect in conditions like poor lighting at night or bad weather. This is why 3D cameras that can process details from the world around them at high speeds and long distances are key if the autonomous car industry is to properly take off. Depth is critical, and being able to see something smaller than a car requires millions of pixels. From an optics perspective, it's great because we're able to use optics in a new way that allows us to measure what has been a really difficult problem. And we've been successful in building prototypes and showing that we can really measure two million pixels at a time out to 50 yards from the camera, in snowstorms even, and that's never been done before. We create the distance measurement by using a short strobe that illuminates the whole area, the light comes back, and then that's where we're able to measure the time and distance and we do it all at once, so it happens in a fraction of a microsecond. So our objective is within 12 to 24 months have engineering samples or product prototypes available for sale. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.